Yeah, hello guys, you are highly welcome to another amazing tutorial on Obuti Fashion Channel. This is the channel that brings you the easiest, fastest and the simplest method on how to draft, cut or sew anything on a uh, mesh dress. On today's video, I will be taking you through the process of how you can uh, stitch this uh, senator dress with a uh, pleating in the front. A step-by-step -step guide and the easiest uh, method. So please, if, if it is the first time you are checking on this channel, don't forget to click on the subscribe button and turn on your notification bell so that you'll be notified whenever I drop an amazing video like this again. So without any further delay, let's get started. The first thing you have to do is to cut the senator dress after you have already cut the both front and the back. So you lay it like this and then you leave excess in the front like this. So make sure you leave excess in the front for the front uh, pleating. You leave like a uh, two inches in the in the front like this straight down so your measurement is starting from this uh, from this uh, ghetto to the front as we normally do it on the back uh, for the back slit when you are cutting the senator dress so you leave it on the front like this that is the two inches excess from the front so whatever the measurements you want to do now we start from this uh, folding so now after you have done that then the next thing to do is to cut the cape that is the front uh, facing like this so you remove the neck line following the neck you cut on the senator dress and then the length is a uh, eight and a half on this one but if it is an adult make it ten and a half so after you finish stitching it it will be ten inches now the under this thing the under neck facing now so let me show you this is the neckline and then on this side it will be 2.5 that's the wideness 2.5 and then you cut it straight down like this so the down part will be 3.5 so depending on how big the measurements you are working is so that is the chest you are working with so this one is also 3.5 why the length is a uh, five inches why the length is a uh, five inches so that is that on uh, that so you apply the st on it so you apply st on it so please if this is the first time you are checking on this channel don't forget to click on the subscribe button and turn on your notification bell and to my all uh, subscribers i say thank you for coming back to nobody fashion channel you guys are the real mvp so thank you for keeping up with the nobody fashion channel and please don't forget to click on the like button so that a lot of people will be able to benefit and then derive value on this uh, video as well so that's one of the way you can as well help uh, others in uh, getting value and then also learning from uh, this uh, channel please don't forget to click on the like button and swell and then click give this uh, video a thumbs up so after you apply any st on it the next thing to do now is to prepare the plaquette is to prepare the plaquette i'm very sure if you are part of a nobody fashion channel before you have known how we prepare the plaquette so the wideness of this plaquette is a 1.2 while the length is a nine inches so let me confirm this so this is 8.5 so and then you increase the length with a uh, half inches so which is a uh, nine inches so that is whatever the length of the facing is if the length of the facing is a 10.5 you prepare the plaquettes to be 11 inches so you increase it with a uh, half inches so you press this one like this and then you apply pressure make sure that it's adhered to the material very well so you make use of a color stay on this uh, facing but don't use the one that is very hard use the one that is not too hard and not too light as well so you measure one inch from this uh, turning and then you cut it straight so you can as well reduce it a bit again or it's uh, 0.2 and cut it straight down so you fold this one on it and then you iron it properly well so make sure that you are ironing it properly well and then you take aiming gum cut the aiming gum into two and then you insert the aiming gum into the into the material like this and then you press it so this to make the material the edge of the material to lay firm with uh, with uh, the color stay without uh, shifting when we are doing the when we are doing the stitches so but please if you want to know how to prepare a plaquette easily so that the reason why i'm rushing this is because i've already given a full and a comprehensive tutorial on how to do this so please do where to check the 
description and box below for the for the video link so you'll be seeing how to prepare plaquettes without having a squeeze by the by the side so that video i believe it is will be of very great help so this is the under plaquettes now a foot half inch on this side and then you fold half inch on the other side also so you turn this one on it leaving like a little space the way we prepare the piping so that's how you prepare this one and that is it so now you take the material again now and then you press it very well so that you'll be able to get the gator on the on the front so once you do this so you have to cut for the front opening so this front opening is a six inches so that is what i'm using for this six inches so and then maybe i may reduce it a bit again so this is a six inches so you cut it out from this uh, six inches so you cut it out from this uh, six inches so once you do that the length of this uh, facing now that is the first one from this point now so the length of this uh, facing the everything will fall on a uh, 10 11 inches that will be the length of the whole facing in the front that is the full length will be 11 inches so from that 11 inches now i'm adding like a 0 0.2 for the for the plating so that is why i mark this so whatever the facing is just mark 0 0.2 under it so that that is the place where the stitches will end so you just notch this place and then you cut it leaving like a 0 0.5 in between the plating and then the gator and then this place you are cutting so just notch that place like this and then you stitch it all through you stitch it from this place and stop here from this place and stop here so you turn this one to the front like this and then you stitch this one like this facing the front so you stitch that one on the back you stitch this one on the back like this and then you turn this one to the front and stitch it like that so this is it now after i've already do the stitches so that is it i stop here and this is the one i stitch on the on the front so that is it on how to do this so that the work will relax very well and then it will be very very neat so just iron it like this iron this one also make sure you press it very well so that the squeeze will be eradicated so just do the this thing now this is the gator now you open it like this can turn it to the front to to do that so you first place the first splitting on one side open it from the back this can be tedious but please take your time to do this so take your time to do this it can be so tedious so just take your time to do this so just iron it out like this take one side and first iron the first side so the second side as well to automatically relax by itself so you can see the pleating now that the whole thing come out very nice and uh, beautiful so that is that or now to do this so once we do this the next thing to do now is to proceed to the table and do the stitches of the of the facing to the to the material so let's quickly go to the machine i mean the sewing machine now to do the stitches of the facing to the material you can see that it is very easy as i'm taking you through the process so please don't forget to watch the video to the end so that you will not miss any part of the of the of the training so you stitch here and then that is it on this so now let's move to the sewing machine now so that is this on this one oh i forget i will still need to do the face i've not uh, folded side of this uh, of this uh, facing so i will quickly do that now you fold the edge all through the 
make sure you press it very well so that you'll be able to relax very well so that is it you get the gator iron it out like this so you take the second one which will be for the under what is the whatever you have as the this thing here whatever you have as the whiteness here that is what we have that's this is a five inches so the wideness of this is a five inches so you get the center of this one you mark five inches on the both sides so that the gator will fall on the center so that is it so you iron both sides like this iron the other side as well Please make sure you take your time to do this so that the work will come out very clean. And then let me quickly give a shout out to some of my subscribers. So please, if you want to get my shout out as well, make sure you click on the subscribe button and then you drop a comment for me. You can be part of the people that will get my shout out in my next uh, video. So now, let's proceed to the sewing machine so this is it now i've already stitched this side straight down and stitch this side straight down also so once you do that the next thing to do now is to join this uh, place together at is, as it is a uh, opening so you just stitch it together like this make the two to join together like this so you just baste it together like this and then you knit the thread so once you do that you place the facing on it place the facing on it so the reason why i first do that is to make the join the opening to join together so that it will not be removing when i'm doing the stitches so you use office paint to hold the thing together so that is very important make sure you watch with your office paint so that is very important. So you use office pin to hold all the edge like this. So you have apply the office pin on this side as well. So once you do that, the next thing to do now is to stitch the edge of the material that is the tip of the material all through like this. So once you get to this side, you stop and then you stitch it all through like this. So I'm stopping around here. So for the opening of the front. So that is the side you will stop at the damp part here. So you just stitch it all through like this. And then make sure you hold the material very well. You can see how I'm holding the material and I'm using my fingers to control all the material. So please make sure you use your finger to control the material very well. So you hold the material very well. So you, your ability to hold the material very well goes a long way in uh, having the best uh, finishing also so once you get here you open it like a zero like a three inches so that will be for the pocket uh, square so make sure you tension the one under that is the main body of the material so that this you won't have a squeeze on the edge as uh, on, on the edge of the material and then you set the pleating under as well so that the pleating will not shift to the wrong side so make sure you also stitch the tip of this uh, facing also and then you tension the one under that is very important as well and another thing is that uh, make sure you maintain the same stitches all through on the material so that you have a very nice and then uh, good uh, finishing so once you do this the next thing you have to do now is to give it a rough iron so i just want to give it a quick iron so that when I, when I come back, I will the work will come out very nice a bit. So just remove all the office pin. Remove all the office pin like this. So once you do that, let me quickly give it a quick iron. So this is it now. After I've done the rough iron on it. So I'm not giving it a thorough ironing yet. You can see that it it's relax a little bit, but I still have a squeeze on this side. So after I do the final ironing, everything will relax properly well. So just open this place like this. 
So I'm opening it like a zero five point five. So the opening is a five point five now. So once you do that, the next thing to do now is to fix on that placket on it. Is to fix the under placket. So you set the under placket like this, and then you cut it to like a six inches. So you adding like zero point five to it. So adding like a 0 0.5 to it. So this opening now, let me measure it. The opening is a 5.5. .5. So that is 5.5. .5. So on this plaquette now, you measure 6 inches. Measure 6 inches and then you notch it like this. Just cut it on the center like this. So now let's insert the under plaquette on it. So once you insert the under placket, the stitches should be on the 0 0.2. So that is what we use to stitch this uh, placket. That's a 0 0.2. So let me use a uh, my pencil to to mark that. So 0 0.2 here. So that is the place which the under placket will run through. So make sure you maintain that a 0.2 all through on the material. So the essence, the reason for this is to make the main plaquettes to be able to cover the under plaquette uh, very well. So you don't insert the whole under plaquette into the material so that the main plaquette will be able to cover it uh, very well. So make sure you maintain that a 0.2 all through. You turn this one like this and then you stitch it as well. So that is it. Voila. So the next thing you have to do now is to insert the main material, the plaquettes now. So the main plaquettes now, these are you fix that into the material. So the wideness of the main placket is a 1.2 so the wideness of the main placket is a 1.2 so this is it now so that is a 1.2 i believe you can see that clearly so that 1.2 now you divide it very well into two and it gives us a 0 0.6 so on that 0 0.6 now you mark the 0 0.6 so just insert it into the material i believe this may look a little bit uh, confusing for you if you are yet to see how we do the plaquettes on this uh, channel. So please do where to check the link in the description uh, box below and then make sure you watch the video till the end as well so that I will give you the link on uh, how where to see the video also. So I will give you the link at the end of this uh, video as well. So just stitch it at, across like this and then you maintain that uh, 0 0.6 or true make sure that the stitches is very straight and then uh, you are stitching the tip of the material you are stitching the tip of the material so don't use gather to stitch this uh, area make sure you tension the material very well you can see that this fall on the center that is very important and that is one of the advantage of fixing your plaquette with uh, this uh, method. It's come out, it's make your plaquette to come out very nice and then uh, beautiful. So that is it on the plaquette. So just run it through like this. So once you get to this point, you can just reverse like this, give it a, reinforce it like this, you, and you need all the thread. So you can just stitch the middle to hold it down. And please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, please. And then you drop your comments for me as well. That is very important. So thank you. So now you stitch this side again. That is the tip. Don't leave this tip without stitching it. So another thing you can do here is to first stitch the tip that is this side before you insert the main mat the main plaquette to the 
bodies. So you can first stitch it before you insert it to the main bodies. But that is very important. Don't leave it without stitching this uh, that other side also, so that the two sides we have the same stitches. So you can still see the back now. You can see how nice the work is on the back. So just cut out the excess we have here. So you take the under facing now, that is the facing that will be under the plaquette. So that is the secret of this design. They won't be able to discover how you insert the plaquette to the material. So they won't be able to discover that. And this place is very important. Make sure you hold it material very well. And then make sure that it's not shifting or one side is no longer than the other side so that it will not shift or run more than the place where the facing ended on this uh, first one that is the upper facing make sure that the two is equal so just turn it like this then you stitch the tip so make sure you insert that uh, joining make sure you insert it to the material that it, it's not reflecting outside so just run through it like this make sure you set the center and make sure it fall on the center that is the v shape now make sure it fall on the center so just do the stitches all through make sure you tension the material so that you not have a squeeze after you do the final ironing on the material so you take your time to do this take your time to do this you run through it like this and voila that is it that is it so the next thing to do now is to give it a proper and natural ironing especially from the back and this is the result of what we have been doing so you can see the pleating now and you can see how relaxed neat and the clean everything is so this is the pocket square now prepare the pocket square and then you insert it to the material on the subsequent video i'll be showing you how you can uh, fix the, the chain on this uh, plaquette the chain on the plaquette so but i don't want to do that on this video so i'll be giving you a separate video on that i say thank you for watching and then uh, please don't forget to click on the like button and the subscribe button turn on your notification bell so that you'll be notified whenever i drop an amazing video like this again thank you for watching